Hi Sagittarius, thanks for joining me for your November Taroscope. All right, Sagittarius, this is your reading for November. I've laid out the cards for weeks one, two, three, and four. I've got an oracle card here for you, and we are using the Mystical Wisdom Oracle Card Deck by Gay Guthrie and Josephine Wall. And I'm using the Cosmic Tarot, which I've had for years. I've had many different uh, decks in this style and tradition because I just love them, um, and I don't have the box anymore. So it's Robert Lush. It's um, Scandinavian. So it's Lush. All right. So let's get on with this reading. You know, whenever I get the tower or death or even the devil in a reading, the first impulse for me is to say, oh, I can't do this reading. I have to pull another card. <laughs> but the thing is, you have to understand how life works. Life has ups and life has downs. Life has changes. In fact, most of life is about change and the way we react to it. So now I'm not so squeamish about those cards, the death, uh, the devil, the tower cards. I I'm not so squeamish. I think that um, it's a part of life that we all have to accept. So Sag, having said that, let's get on with your reading. And the first card is death. So in the very beginning of November, and this is going to be following, remember, on the heels of a big eclipse on the 25th of October. So I'm not surprised that we have this card. Now this does not necessarily mean physical death. This card means a transition of some sort. Something has come to a definite end. Something has really ended. And, you know, in our vernacular, we might say something died, but not a person died. Um, and that's how you start out your month. And so in the beginning of the w first week of the month, it's going to feel horrible. It's going to feel like the, the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Like how can you cope with this change? How can you cope with this ending? So you're going to need some help. But out of that help, I believe that you use your spiritual practice to go within and to find a reason, a, a way to make sense out of this misfortune or this change that you find yourself being victim to. Because you come out with the star. And the star is a very spiritual card. It shows that you have reached up into the heavens and found an answer, found a reason, found somehow a way to make sense out of this very, very difficult situation. So, Sag, I'm counting on you to make that come true. In the se second week of November, we have the Four of Pentacles. So you are laying down a foundation. You are figuring out a way to use the resources that you have to make it work in your life. You may have to, you know, try to rearrange money, or you may have a health issue that has to be dealt with. Something has come to an end and you have to deal with it now. And part of it is to reorganize either your health, your body, or your finances. In the second week also, we have the lovers. And this means that you have a partner with whom you can communicate very, very well. So this is a partner that you respect. They respect you. There's a lot of cooperation. There's a lot of harmony. There's a lot of trust in this uh, relationship. And once you reignite or reaffirm this relationship with your partner, then things really start taking off. We have the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands indicates a great deal of activity. This could be a lot of papers, a lot of people, a lot of money, a lot of projects, a lot of things that you have to deal with. And so this second week and the first week, big changes and you really come around to a whole different way of handling things in your life. At the beginning of the third week, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So like Aries, you have an opportunity here to start something brand new. And 
I just want to point out that you most likely would not be able to start this thing brand new had you not had something else die or, or step out of the limelight so that you had room in your life to do something brand new. And again, this could be something having to do with your body, your health, or your money. So a new job, a new health routine, a new medical procedure, a new doctor, a new medical um, something. The Wheel of Fortune is the next card, and this shows me that you are really taking your fate into your own hands. You are changing up the way you look at your life, you're changing up the way you're doing things, and this is causing you to change your luck and to change where you're going to be on the Wheel of Fortune. We also have the High Priestess. Now the High Priestess is the person who has all the knowledge in the Torah, right, in the Book of Knowledge. So you are coming into a period of your life where I do believe there's a great deal of spirituality going on here. You have the star and the high priestess, two of the most spiritual cards in the decks. And I want you to realize that the power was, is, is, is within you, that the ability to change your life and design it in a new way is within you. And that's what the high priestess is also telling you, that you hold the keys to all the secrets. On the fourth week, we have the two of wands. And this is you telling the world who you are. This is you showing yourself to the world with this new um, job or new health routine or new something or other for your body and saying, here I am and I'm ready to be here. You have to deal with me. You also have for the for this fourth week in November, the Nine of Cups. This is a really wonderful card. This shows that your, your wish is going to come true, that you're on the verge of tremendous success, that you also notice that it's another couple's card. So you also have a really terrific partner who is helping you in this. So Sag, I think it's going to be a really stellar month for you. And it starts out rough. It starts out you not knowing which way is up with your life. But it ends up you have some really amazing things happening to you. Now the final card is the Seven of Cups, and this is going to be a card where you question things. You're just wondering, what is this all about? What have I learned? What are the lessons from losing this thing or, or whatever, this situation that ends in my life? What am I learning from that? What am I supposed to learn from that? And me, me coming up as the High Priestess and the Star, what does that mean in my life? How am I, how am I uh, bettering myself? through whatever I'm doing right now. And Sag, I know you're one to really question that. You're quite philosophical. So that's the tarot cards. Be sure to leave me some comments down below. And now let's look at your oracle card. It says, Peacock, raise your standards. Okay, let's read about that one. The peacock is possibly one of the most exquisitely beautiful creatures of the world's animal kingdom. It is also believed to be the most virtuous and embodies the admired characteristics of integrity and loyalty. And I think that also reflects in the sign Sagittarius as well. Like the peacock, you embody qualities important for friendship and family unity. You are encouraging, selfless, and enrich the lives of everyone you meet. The peacock is also very protective of its young and will provide for and protect them under any circumstance. This card can also be seen as an indicator to better yourself and to raise your standards to be more like the peacock. And your mantra is, I love and care for everyone I know. Oh, so beautiful, Sag. This is such a Sag message. It's such a Sagittarian message. Well, thank you so much for watching this reading, and I really hope this hit home for you. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know, or leave me a few comments if you want to, Sag. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Have a wonderful, wonderful November, Sagittarius. Many blessings to you, and I'll see you next time.